Now we do it. Sorry. September 19th, 11.27 a.m. Fucked it up. Anyway, back to what we were doing. So, Billy, what's your memory of this game? I remember Trevor Stewart playing this game a lot at the arcade. Hmm. He played it a lot. He kind of ran around, and I don't remember him ever beating it. But he put many hours into it. This is one of those games where it's like a lot of people who probably initially played it just dicked around and then that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Say, buddy. You mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. Got to tip it something. But yeah, like, I, I think... Um, I never cared about this game before. And then for some reason I just, like, wanted to get it on uh, the Steam Summer Sale. So I bought it. I didn't want it to get it on PlayStation 4 because they released, they released it on that as well. But I never bought it there. But I bought it on PC and I played through the first game without really knowing much about it other than like what you hear like normally. And then I played it, I beat it, and I fucking loved it. I, re I remember drinking copious amounts of orange juice. <laughs> yep, the orange juice is the best thing in the game. <clears throat> Not actually, I think wine heals more defaultly, yeah, it but, does. but the, or the orange juice is the most easily accessible thing. Yeah, especially since you're not going to get that much health. For what a I've, while. What I've recently discovered is that there's a blender um, where, like, the orange juice is at, and, like, in the first part of the mall, and you can mix it with more orange juice, and then it gives you, like, what I think it's called nectar. Yeah. And it'll, uh, it heals for six oh. life points instead of four, which is what normally OJ heals for. And then I think it also gives you a queen when you do it, or it attracts a queen or something, so you can get a free queen whenever you use it. Oh. I never messed around with that too much, like the whole like drink mixing and shit. But yeah. apparently, that's a it gives you some pretty good benefits if you actually use it. I, I've seen a couple speed runs of the game, where yeah. uh, the one guy all he used was the squirt gun. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's actually one way to kill the ending boss super easily. You just shoot him with a squirt. Just gun. Shoot him off the tank. Yeah, <laughs> and then he just dies. Gotta, yeah, gotta get those good pictures. I Taylor. probably won't be doing that as much, but yeah. Get the good. You pictures. can skip this part, but I'm gonna do it because you can get gotta some good pictures. Get the good pictures. That looks weird. Oh, it's a fence. Hello. Oh no, you you took too long. Or you gotta do it right as he gets grabbed. I know, but you can get some free PP points at the beginning. <laughs> PP. Nice. nice. No genre. I'm photographing a man dying. Is this what you came to take of? Man dying. Yeah. I think. Um, I think it's funny how like these characters at the beginning of the game don't know what's going on. <laughs> like, it's clearly like a zombie thing, but yeah, it's like. Yeah, there like, you go. It looks like the That's double strong. team in him. <laughs> You're not even trying to defend yourself anymore, sir. Yeah, he's giving up. Yeah, he's giving up. Look at all those people. Okay, get some some early PP points for. I don't even remember what PP does. It levels you up. Okay. And that was kind of what I liked about the game too is that like there's kind of like an element of randomness to it, which is kind of cool. Like, um, so you level <coughs> up, right? And like it like increase your um, how many items you can hold. Your, how much health you have, I think damage power, um, or you'll learn like new moves and stuff that you can do throughout the game. So like getting PP is important because it levels you up, but it's like a random like I think the way in which they structure it is like levels one through five you get one of these five upgrades, but it doesn't it's not the same uh, level or like the same upgrade every time you level it up. Mm -hmm. So like. The first time you level up, you might incre get increased health, or you might get increased inventory, or you might get this. Like, it's not, it's it's random every time. So it's not like, you know, you're always going to get the same upgrades in the same order. Which is what I liked. Yeah, that's nice. Get ready for that explosion. I know. I was taking a picture of this man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like the beard. Yeah. Oh! Not in center frame, but that's okay. See what? <laughs> Why did it explode? There's no reason for it to have exploded. Yeah, someone just like bit a fuel line and then 
started <laughs> checking the phone. <laughs> the, the zombie with a cigarette in his mouth. It's, it's the guys from Zoolander. <laughs> um, there's also kind of like an element of like a, almost this game being like a roguelike sort of because what you can do is you can like progress in the game. And then if you want to save your character's progress, like your level, and then restart the game, you can do that as well. Yeah. Which is what I did the first time, because this game can be pretty hard if you don't level up. Good job. I know I'm taking a lot of pictures here at the beginning, but as soon as you get into the mall... Like, there's it a, resets your counter. I think it resets it, but also there's a um, there's a camera store that it, like can recharge your battery if you go in there. She could totally get around these guys. Yeah, she's not even fucking trying. I think this is a cool way to introduce the photo, like the photography mechanic as well. I think this is like a really cool um, way to introduce it, like where you're like taking pictures, like you know, of like the shit happening. I think yeah. that's kind of cool. Well, okay, yep. Throw the gun. That's what you do. Well, she's out of bullets. What do you want? Why'd you turn your back to him? That's gonna suck. I'm sure she's fine. <laughs> All these pictures tell a story. I like how he knows exactly when to move ahead. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, okay, yep, I'm pretty sure you got your sick fucking demented shots, shot. you piece of shit. I don't know, there's something about this game too, like, I, like they're totally aware of like how corny it is in certain places, but like what I really like is like the pictures in between and the loading screens, it totally looks like they just dripped ketchup on a bunch of pictures. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wonder if they did that intentionally, if they're like, oh, let's make it look goofy, you know? <laughs> Can you get me on the rooftop of that mall? What the fuck? No. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> no, I'm Frank. Nice to meet you, Nuts. Don't forget to come back for me. As long as you're not dead, Fred. It's Frank. Frank West. Remember that name, because the whole world's going to know it in three days when I get the scoop. All right. Oh, shit. Shit. Hello, helicopter fight. My oh, shit. I don't know what that is. It's like, is that his other, like, camera equipment? I think it's I can't remember exactly. Like, they don't. It never is brought up again, as far as I remember. And he doesn't seem that upset over it. So, like, I don't. I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's more camera equipment or something, but like spare batteries or something. And this is where the iconic yeah. limp comes from. The limp. <laughs> This game really is kind of iconic, isn't it, though? Like, for enough reasons, like, it's pretty it's pretty memorable. Yeah. No? I'm totally not either <coughs> in any way. You came alone? Like, dude, you just saw me land on the fucking roof. You just jumped into a shit pile, my friend. You just saw me land. <laughs> you were out here watching me. <laughs> I like these questions. Like you came from a helicopter. Is that what that thing was in the sky? Is know. that what you guys call it? <laughs> helicopter. <laughs> It's zombies, you fucking dullard. You smooth brained Neanderthal. <laughs> smooth brained? What the fuck does that mean? Smooth brained Neanderthal. Uh, it means that he's dumb. Doesn't have any wrinkles? Yeah, it doesn't have any brain wrinkles. <laughs> Never heard of Smooth Brain? I don't know much about Neanderthals, so no. <laughs> no, well, Neanderthals and Smooth Brains <laughs> are different. Oh. 
figure there was some kind of correlation. Nope. Just multiple you different. Smooth braid Republican. Because <laughs> uh, the more the more. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shut up. I know what it. Is. If your brain has a whole bunch of wrinkles in it, mm. it allows for more surface area. That's more memories. For for, for bigger brain cognitive and all that. All right. So Billy, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get my favorite outfit. <laughs> Businessman, yeah. I Old played. I played through the whole game with this outfit. Fifties <laughs> ba- business reporter. Yep, and then I get the sunglasses. Oh yeah, yeah. And then later on, you can get, you can make him bald. You can shave his head, but I, it's always, it's a really hard to find the place to do it. But I will do that as well. So, okay, now you gotta go do a zero kill to play through. Is that even fucking possible? Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, a zombie killed. That's what I mean. Yeah, it is. Very difficult, but it is. Fucking fantastic. I don't know where a lot of those things are, but I know that that's one of them. I don't think I need to watch this cutscene, but we're going to do it anyway. Just close the door. Just close the door. (laughs) Oh, no. no. (laughs) I like that they're being very respectful and not being too grabby. Yeah. (laughs) Because they're just like, I like how dumb he looks. <laughs> he, he reminds me of like Elton John. There's a whole bunch of other outfits I think I got from like the DLC or something, like when I ordered it. So like you get some of these, but they're all like palette swaps. So it's like I like I like this one because it's just plaid and ugly looking. <laughs> it is. It makes him so boxy. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think um is it over here? Are they here? No. There's other outfits you can get, but I don't uh, I don't know. One other thing that I, I neg- neglected to do in my original playthrough to make it go faster is you can get a skateboard, in, um, I think, near where you can stock up on orange juice, and that's helpful for getting around quicker, which I never made use of in the original playthrough because I'm like, eh, whatever, you know. Because that's like one thing in this game, too, that like um, you want to get that upgraded early if you're lucky is the speed because Frank runs really fucking slow. Yeah, he does. It is so. This shit, like, it's so funny though because it's like I never played this game when I was younger, but like some of this stuff is so like, iconic and memorable. Like this whole like interaction with the old lady and everything. Like, and she's so fucking gross looking. Oh, Madonna! Back when people could be named that. What are they gonna get? Like a fucking copyright strike if they did? Yes, he's, 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 <laughs> From Madonna State. Have you met my brother? Yes, I did. Don't tell me what the fuck is Are you. Did I fucking stutter? Are you, are you fucking thick in the head? Are you fucking smooth brained? <laughs> you smooth brained Neanderthal. Why does everyone have this? Is this a Colorado thing? (laughs) (laughs) What I don't understand is I feel like in a situation such as this, like if, you know, if this city were like actually zombified, like what's the population of this place, you know? Because there's there's like so many zombies in this mall. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I feel like after a while you would kill all of them. All right, so I know there's a there's a tactic here. I'm gonna try and do it. I've never done it, so I'll, I'll try and do it. There's um <clears throat> in this next part after the after this cutscene, uh, you can get um, a shotgun from one of the people. They're like over like right in this like area here. Yeah. I'm gonna try and grab that because you can use that for the uh, early shotgun. The Carlito boss fight, which is really it's really useful in that. So yeah. I'm gonna try to grab that. Oh no, I went to go grab something. Oh, there's Dr. Barnaby. Hello, I'm old man. You! Stop right there! Do you have any idea what you've done? 
Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I like the voice actor for Frank, too, because he sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah, he sounds dumb. That's another reason why Dead Rising 4 sucks ass, is because they, they got a different voice actor. And, like, intentionally so. Like, they went out of their way to do it. Like this. Watch, he throws off this dude. Yeah. <laughs> throws off that guy. <laughs> That's such a hideous dog. Yeah, it is. How stupid. <laughs> How fucking stupid. <laughs> it's so dumb. These people are really bad at like defending themselves. Oh, it's fucking great. <laughs> I feel like that right there like sets the tone. Like at first it's kind of serious, but then like right when you see that you're like, oh, okay. Well, this is what we're at. This is what we're doing now. We zombies. Did you know you can save everyone here? Can you really? No. I was going to say, I don't You can't, because they died, like, immediately. Yeah, they have, like, not the same amount of uh, um, health and resilience as, as a lot of the survivors that you can save later. But I think this is obviously meant to kind of, like, demonstrate, like, the systems that are going on here. Yeah. I think there's a guy here. Fuck off, you bitch. Oh! Yeah, there's a shark. No! No, that's not it. That's a... <laughs> Close. There it is. That's what I want. Alright. What I also like in this game is every time you hit a zombie with a blunt weapon, it, like, pauses the game for, like, a frame. Yeah, it could... <laughs> yeah, it's really satisfying. And in number two, they got rid of that, and I immediately hated the game because of that. <laughs> You know, these kind of zombies would be the easiest things to fight against. I know, right? You literally just have to stand on the stairs. <laughs> yeah. They're too slow, <laughs> so they can't stop you just keep bopping them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I hope they got away. <laughs> Brad. He's just like, God damn it. What the fuck? Now we're fucked. Why would you weld the door shut? Like, they were up against a glass door and they didn't break it open. Yeah. <laughs> really, you could just do a couple of tick welds and it probably would have worked. Yeah. You don't need to but do I'm the just, whole door. But I'm just saying it because it makes it so much more inconvenient to have to get back to the security room now. Yeah, because now you got to crawl through some vents. And... Yeah. Oh, and they're not smart enough to use the ducks. That's what he says. That's the justification for it. <laughs> Quack. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he's right. They probably wouldn't use the air ducts. I don't know. I think they, um, I think the way they they approached this game too was really cool with like the whole like photography and like news story angle. <clears throat> I think that was smart because it's just like it adds a little extra twist on the whole zombie apocalypse survival type thing. Because there's so many other games that just do that, you know? Yeah. Oh, TNA. You really seem to know what you're doing. Who are you guys, anyway? Who are you? I took that one. How, and throughout all of this, how, how does Frank's camera not get fucking demolished. <laughs> yeah. he, he keeps that thing with his life. That's why he always holds it like this. I know, but he's holding it the whole game. Like, he's got the strap for it, but, like, in the cutscenes, but in the gameplay, he's just holding it. It's like, how do you... How are you doing that? Hey, we're not done talking yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we are. are. Bye. <laughs> we're Star Fox. <laughs> <laughs> And then he's just like, what? The fuck? What does that mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? And then he just walks away. <laughs> Weird Star Fox. <laughs> what the fuck's a Star Fox? <laughs> this ain't no Nintendo game. 
Alright, give me a fucking They keep uh they keep these in here for a little while, but then they, they take them away over the course of the game, so yeah, use well, them while I go. It's, it's too uh Alright, here's the worst character in the game. Yeah, oh, this won't shut the fuck won't up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That was one thing that I do think that they did a good job with in the sequels is making that a little less intrusive and annoying. But there's something charming about how awful his timing is. <laughs> and how when you answer his call, you can't do anything. You can just run around. You can just run around. And then if you get hit or like try to attack, you hang up. And then he calls you back. He's like, hey, man, don't hang up on me. <laughs> it's like, shut up, dude. Like, hey, man, I'm trying not to fuck it up. Yeah, like, you don't know what I'm doing when I'm, like facing right now, you idiot. Hi, my name is Jeff. Hi, Jeff Daniels. Hello. Can I help you? There you go. There we go. I gotta go find his dumb wife who's literally just around the corner. That'd be great, fella. Oh, thanks, bitch. And this is a decent way to introduce this whole mechanic as well, which is like the, the saving... Sure. This is this is another reason right here why Dead Rising 4 sucks is because none of this is in the game. Like normally you complain about escort missions. Yeah. But that's the whole point of this game. And like they don't have it in number four at all. It's really shitty. Yeah. You fucking you dumbass. Nah. Fantastic. I'm going to level up from this. Sir, can you stop? Okay. Oh, well, whatever. But once we get him, get him back in... I mean, you're actually probably in the safest part to be in. Because there's no zombies here. Yeah. And there never is. I think later in the game, when it overrun... No. No, only cultists. Yeah, but they don't, get, they don't ever come up here. See, my life increased. Look at that. Wow. Too bad it wasn't speed. Yeah, I wish it were speed. I don't think you get speed until like level ten or something. This right, this part right here, they needed to fix in the remasters. Their fucking path, like AI here, because yeah. they have to climb up from the same spot. So if you have a group of people, they all are just running into each other there. And if there's ever zombies sucks. or anything, it just yeah, they're they're they're, they're pathfinding in this game is pretty shitty, but that's okay. Wow, thanks again. It was 2006. I get it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I can forgive that. Look at I'm already level three. Look at that shit. What? What did I get? New skill mastered. What did I get? I mastered the jump kick. Okay, that's a good one. Jump kick. <clears throat> kick the jump. Jump, right. jump kick. All right, we're gonna let this episode go a little long just because we're in the yeah. intro here. Yeah, I don't know. There's a couple of fun mechanics that come from rescuing people too, where they're like trying to mutiny and shit, and then you gotta like unmutiny, unmutiny them. Yeah. I don't know. This game was very. I feel like it was very innovative, and I just never played it at the time when it came out. What? Yes, I can hear you, Otis. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? I am very busy! Tobin sent me this. Who's that? Back to see. Go back. I don't Ooh. know how to use this app. Oh, there we go. Who's Bouncy? Some big titted girl who dresses up like a clown. Do we know who that is? No. <laughs> Just because you like hot clown girls? Yeah, just because I like Clissy. Oh my. Yeah, that does that too for me. Like, Melissa will send me shit on TikTok, but I don't have the app and I don't want it. Oh my god, it's you. Let's see some more of, of Bouncy. Alright, well, you're focusing too much on the clown and not yeah. enough of the big titted part, you know? Yeah. Come on. Let me look up her Instagram. She's probably got an OnlyFans account. That's against regulations. Yeah, well, 
I don't think they had zombie infested halls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. Kid. You know how to use this? Kinda. I've covered wars, you know. I've covered wars, you know. <laughs> what wars have you covered, Frank? Yeah, who fucking told you? The war on drugs. Thank you for the gun. The guns are like worthless in this game. <laughs> you and I are gonna have a nice little chat. I will keep the gun for now. I will keep the gun. I know how this works. Right. Don't wanna get fucking copyright strict. Oh. It's not like we're making money. Who cares? Oh, hold on. I gotta recharge my battery. My batteries. Here we go. Your batteries. Yeah, you gotta go to Cam's camera and you get a new battery. There you go. Nice. So otherwise, what I do... Also, I like the sound effects in this game comparatively to the other ones. It just, like... It's kind of cartoony. It's cartoony, but I like the goopy, like... Like... Oh. But like the goopy, like, um, blood spattery sound. I like that. Hello, officer. Oh, shit! <laughs> I thought he was friendly! Alright, so as soon as I walk out here, Otis is gonna call me. And he's gonna give me a dumb mission to go do with Kent. It's a fucking working piece of shit. Fucking. What, the app ain't working? But yeah, like, it won't load anything. Oh. I only get a couple pictures and then it just fucking sits there, loading. Oh. Uh. I want to do this stupid mission with Kent, even though I'm probably not going to be able to do the follow up mission with him because I've never been able to do it. Why not? Um, because you have to you have to take an erotic picture and then meet him back in the plaza. But last time I did it, the timing was very bad, and I just didn't have time to get to him. Okay, okay so maybe it's a timing thing. Otis will call me in a minute here. At least he should. They call me Big Otis. I like to get. I've got a huge scrotus. Oh no. Not a Scrotus. <laughs> Scrotus is the bad guy from Mad Max. <laughs> What's his name? His name is Scrotus. Who told the bird to say? Oh, I thought that was in the game. No. <laughs> Actual bird. Actual, Actual bird. bird. Otis, the one time I want you to call me and you're not calling me, dude. All right, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go fucking get Brad some backup. Fuck it, Brad some backup. He's supposed to. He's supposed to call me here, but he's not calling me. So it's just for that stupid. Like it's a stupid photography side quest. Yeah. Just to try and save the other dude, but like it's like a photography tutorial. Maybe it's because you haven't killed enough people. Oh, well, maybe, maybe. Let me get to 50. Yeah. Seems like a decent milestone here. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Like, fucking, just the gremlin walk that he does. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was the thing I hated in number two, is the... the no Chuck, gremlin? No, Chuck's walk, like, run cycle is ugly. It's not... It's a very stiff, shitty run cycle. Ugh. And I hate to complain about that, because it's like it doesn't matter. It has no impact on the game. But there's something about, like, if, if this is the animation that I'm going to be watching throughout the entire experience, I'd rather it be more enjoyable. And, well, there's Otis. Now he's going to fucking tell me. All right, it's me, Otis, the jam. Hey, I can get some free PPs. It's, I want to take advantage of the PPs while I can. So I know it's stupid to run all the way back from where I just was, but I'm going to do it. Taking pictures. Man. But, I mean, like, I like Frank's run cycle because it seems like he's more, like... Because he looks around, too. So he's, like, you know, kind of aware of his surroundings and whatnot. Yeah. You know? I don't know. I feel like it kind of represents, like, his character a little bit. Whereas Chuck Green in number two, like, he's just got this, like, real girly run. And it's, like, fucking... It's just... 
you'd have to look it up to see what I mean, but it's just like, it's a very stiff, unappealing animation, in my opinion. So that was, that was one of my chief complaints in number two. What's your other chief complaint? Um, the fact that it was made by uh, a Western studio. It was made by Capcom Vancouver. It was not made by Capcom Japan, which is a, is a shameful thing because Capcom Japan. Ca yeah, Capcom Japan only really. I think they only developed this one actually. You know, go to your guitars and. No, you can get the PP. You need the PP. Oh, I had it for a second. I'll take 97, that's fine. Those little PP markers give you PP if you should take a picture of them. I think there's another one over here. The Toys for Tots. I did not pay attention to where a lot of these are, so I'm not really sure. There you go. Not sure how to get some of these other ones, so I'll try and keep an eye out for them. Alright, let's go talk to... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what steps are your friend. <laughs> let's go talk to Kent and see what he's up to. Why did that just pop up and then disappear? That was weird. Yeah. Did you see that? It sounded like a turkey. Hello. Yeah, it did sound like a turkey, didn't it? Hello. Hello. I like how this dude, Kent, is like super professional compared to Frank yeah. as far as photography goes, apparently. Don't put your fucking gun in my face. Yeah, you'll kill him. It's fine. So yeah, there's a blender over there in the corner, which I want to use right now. All right. I'm going to cut the episode here in a second. Here. Everybody knows Kent is the best. Because he goes, because he speaks in the third person. <laughs> all right, let me. All right, Let's see that like resets for a second for some reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. Let's do some coffee creamer and some OJ and see what we get. Gross. I know. That's that, what you get. That sounds gross. Well, let me drink this first. Yeah, get yourself. Oh, quick step, see? Look at that. Cool. Alright, next time on Just Jeff Traps, we drink that quick step. Yeah.